And now to Kano State, where the majority leader of the House of Representatives, Al Hassan Dugua, has expressed worry over the new wave of insecurity in communities around Fagore Forest. The House leader says acts of kidnapping and robbery and banditry have become worse in the area. TVC News Kano correspondent Ibrahim Isa reports. The Fulguri Forest is known to be a den for criminals, where armed men terrorize defenseless herdsmen and residents of the neighboring communities. But the government moved to establish a training ground for the military in the forest in a bid to calm the activities of miscreants in the area. Uh, the majority leader of the House of Representatives, Al Hassan Dugwa, is a native of Dugwa and Chudumada, where the forest is situated. He is on a mission this day. It takes him to the Kano police headquarters where he sits down with the commissioner, Abu Sani, for a chat on renewed insecurity in the area. Not done, Mr. Dogwa proceeds to the three brigade headquarters of the Nigerian army to also meet with the brigade commander, Bamidele Ajayi, with the same agenda on the table. He is worried that the Falgori forest is becoming very unsafe for residents. Uh, in recent days, uh, what is actually happening in my own constituency is something that is not only worrisome, it is becoming very practically uh, uh, threatening uh, at a time when we are going to farm, uh, uh, farmers are afraid going to farm. Sometimes you cannot even sleep in your home with two eyes closed. The House Majority Leader on his part promises to push for the quick passage of the Armed Forces Support Fund Bill. If that is what will guarantee safety for his community and other areas in the country, threatened by the activities of brigands. We are coming up with the Nigerian Armed Forces Trust Fund, which is an invention of this ninth House of Representatives. It's a trust fund that we want to create a legal framework for that, where we could now collate and coordinate donations, civil donations, contributions even from global agencies, so that Nigerian Armed Forces could have an alternative source of funding, not only waiting for the budgetary process or what is being budgeted for them in, in the budget. A resident of Dogwa and Tudumwada are hopeful that the renewed insecurity in their area would soon be a thing of the past. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kanu.